Hey guys, back again. Um, so I thought I would elaborate on my last video a little bit further with regards to this HHD 12 inch incubator and the humidity struggles that I've had with it. I can only imagine anyone else, especially in the UK, um, would struggle in the same way. Uh, basically, when you look in the manual, they will tell you that humidity is not a huge worry and for the first period, which is day seven to day, day one to day seven, you fill up one of the trays with water and then period two day eight to day 14 fill up three and then period three which is predominantly lockdown they would state fill the whole thing up lock it down leave it shut um in my opinion with every hydrometer i've used it spikes like it spikes a lot when you do this this or this i mean just even forgetting those this it just spikes um, and because I'm trying to get my hatch rate higher, I feel that's the only thing I have consistent temperature. We lock down, we try and lock down day 18, sometimes day 19, depending on how we feel, you know, the chicks are doing in the, the eggs, as it were, from candling. Um, but the humidity, I think, is the biggest issue. So um, on, on various different trying, researching and... Um, like I say, speaking to people that have got more experience, apparently humidity is about surface area, and the larger the surface area of water in the incubator, the higher it's going to be. Uh, and that is, you know, like for instance, a school ruler kind of size um, is 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 quite a lot of surface area. So, like I say, um, tried various different things and eventually got down to, you know, a a, a small cap lid off of a, a drinking water bottle i actually used one from like a coca-cola bottle of a two liter bottle just because they tend to be a bit deeper but it's the size of the actual circumference of it that makes the difference and like i say i've had stable um humidity since i've worked that out and now this will be our first test with actual hatching eggs with that but i can leave it for days on end with just that cap in there and i have stable humidity around that 50 55 um percentage so um i hope that explains a little more with regards to the humidity side of things other than that i have had to calibrate this machine and it's pretty basic you turn it to 37.5 put in a device like another thermometer like i've got in here which you can see there um to to confirm it and calibration it tells you here basically all you do is go into the setting which is cau by holding down the setting button until it gives you it and then rotating it and then you just plus and minus it so if your machine is saying 37.5 and mine was only showing 35.5 it all seems a bit backwards but i minused it down to minus two and it brought the temperature up to 37 so it's just calibrating that main thermometer but it works uh, and you can calibrate it but i would say you need to check it you need an external separate independent thermometer and probably hydrometer you can get them pretty cheap like amazon ebay like you know less than 10 pounds you can get a good one for 10 pounds um and yeah you um once you calibrate it temperature's good stays consistent really well it's quiet um, and like I say, this time I've, I've never had the pol I've always had the polystyrene bottom on, but this time I thought I'll try the polystyrene lid as well. Um, see if it makes any difference. It's what it's meant for. It's meant to do it. I guess it's for colder countries normally, but hey. Uh, anyway, like I say, we'll update you as we go along. We've got about 12 eggs in there this time, so um, we're, we're aiming for a good hatch rate. Thanks, guys.